McDad's A Fart Racing. This team, they wanted to go Lemons Racing and their initial thinking, like many other totally clueless, misguided first time teams, they thought, hey, you know what would be a good idea? Volkswagen TDI. But then they saw an opportunity that they just couldn't pass up. On the Lemons Forum, Lemons legend Spank was offering a Lancia Scorpion, and Spank said the car ran and, quote, wouldn't need that much work to get it on track. And what was the asking price? Free. Go see Spank, go see Spank, go see Spank. A mid-engine Italian exotic supercar for free. By Grabthar's Hammer. What a savings. Now, McDad's reply to this ad as quickly as they could, but believe it or not, somebody beat them to the reply and got the free Lancia. And then that team dropped out and it fell right into their laps. How fortuitous was that? So what is a Lancia Scorpion? Well, in Europe, it was known as the Lancia Beta Monte Carlo, which they could not sell as a Monte Carlo here because Chevy already had that market cornered. Now the engine was a version of the classic twin cam Fiat four cylinder engine. You mean the one designed by the famous Ferrari V12 engineer Aurelio Lampredi? The same. So it's super powerful then. Well, it has 83 horsepower. But surely it was capable of big power. Uh, on paper, sure. The rally versions made about two or 300 horsepower. So then all this team had to do was unlock the potential that was already inside of the engine. Yeah, but there were a few issues. Um, you know, even though this thing has 83 horsepower, parts cost about the same as a Ferrari V12. And unlike a BMW or a Honda, uh, parts availability kind of scattered in this country. Yeah, at one point the team bought a supposedly plug and play upgraded electronic distributor that was designed specifically for the Fiat twin cam, which this car has, as we noted, but the car itself is a Lancia and not a Fiat, which somehow means that the distributor rotates in the completely opposite direction. Why would they do that? Ah, Italy. At another race, they broke a rod cap during a rebuild for the engine, and it turned out that the torque specs in the badly translated Italian manual were completely incorrect. Of course, the team has a pile of similar stories that you don't come across because your car is not made in the most stupid way possible. On the bright side, having a not normal car has had some pluses for this team. In the paddock at a lemons race, they've had passers-by ask such questions like, is that a rally car? And are you sure it's not a DeLorean? Uh, performance is moderate. They started with 83 horsepower, but according to the team captain, you know, they built a really special motor and his butt dyno said it was about 100 horsepower. Now, how much horsepower is that on a real dyno? Uh, 84, 85, somewhere in that region. The captain, Lance, he does say the car handles well, easy to drive, gets good mileage, and is easy on tires. I mean, really, at the end of the day, he only gave us a short list of drawbacks, bad brakes, lack of visibility, lack of power, reliability, cost, availability of parts, lack of support community, incorrect tech specs in the shop manual. I think that's about it. So McDad's A farts totally regret getting this thing, right? Well, Lance said not really. These are guys who, like the best lemons racers, realize that the most worthwhile achievements are hard in life. Yeah, and only with maybe a very small hint of irony, Lance says that winning an IOE in this car, which they did, was right up there with raising his children and earning a PhD. Now, Lance has never had a chance to thank Spank properly and in person for pawning off this car, so he had a few choice words for Spank, and I will read them verbatim. Spank, Thanks so much for giving us this amazing racing machine. It was super generous of you, and we can't thank you enough. And also, 
you, Spank, you masochistic f You said this car didn't need much work. Just clean out the gas tank and brake lines and change the timing belt. I even have a new one for you right here, he said. The engine runs and sounds great, he said. Just put a cage in it and race it, he said. Well, this piece of sh has been the worst experience of my life trying to get it to work properly. It's taken several pieces of my soul away. It's made me want to cry several times. I can't believe I ever fell for your stupid mind games and took this car and tried to race it. But seriously, thank you, Spank. You're the best. When I grow up, I want to beat you someday. If you ever need to dump another crazy car, let me know. It sounds like they're essentially married to this car and will have it forever for all of its pluses and minuses. No, they sold the f out of it and bought a Toyota Supra. Oh yeah, you know we have two of them. Wow, you must be rich. If you need a lemon scar, go to Spank. If you don't want to drive far, go to Spank. If you don't want to turn left, if you need some massless chaps, go to Spank, go to Spank, go to Spank. It seems funny when we're doing it. I don't know if it actually is funny. No f***ing <laughs> clue.